Hey! Punches, 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 punches. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, I just yeah, let you know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, it's all good. Hey, welcome because... to Truth. It's a good <laughs> day it. in the neighborhood. It's a good, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> a beautiful so, day in the neighborhood. <sighs> Go ahead. We want to um, welcome everybody to tonight. Uh, great news is we both have wireless headphones so we can move our hands and we can move around. You see this? this is what you call wireless. And uh, that just enables us to be a little bit more free. For you. Yes, absolutely, brother. And uh, yeah, I guess it, it, it took a year for us to do that, but uh, we finally did. So so that, right. that's good. We took we took the plunge. But uh, dude, how you been, bro? Well, first of all, it's really funny. I There's a hookup where I got two by, there's two by fours and like a wire that's holding this palm tree up. And I have this uh, video on the wire so everybody that's walked around thinks i'm talking to a tree that's what's really oh. funny <laughs> i was wondering it's like <laughs> they're like they're like what is that guy doing it's very <laughs> odd <laughs> so, it always is anyway, <laughs> anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna share this in a minute it looks like we got three eyeballs on right now so i just want to I, I don't see who it is, but there is three eyeballs that I could see. So what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's JJ. One of them is JJ. What's up, JJ? Good to have you on, brother. And uh, I'm Tony. That's Tim. And uh, we're going to just jump right in it. And uh, I guess uh, start up with the word of prayer, I guess. What you want to do, Tim? What you got? Yeah, why what don't you, you hit it? Why don't you hit it? You want me to hit it? All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we just thank you for your goodness. We just thank you for, for what you saw in us, the value, the worth, all right, our true identity. Father, we just thank you for how you see us. It's instead of looking at us in judgment, you extend grace, love, mercy, and forgiveness. And we just thank you, Father God, for that. So, Lord, we just, we just want to say thank you. And we just want to say you are invited every day, but you are invited right now to just speak your word, Father God. So Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, you're here. And Holy Spirit, you teach us, lead us, and direct us for truth, church, tonight, Father God. And we give you all glory and praise. And all the saints say, amen. 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 Yeah, man. So... Um, I'm going to just take a moment and see if I could share this real quick. Um, I think I'm good and I'll let you go do your thing and start us off, I guess, with our little, uh, intro. You want to do that? Yeah, the, I was, uh, I was really listening to Holy Spirit when you're praying and, and what I heard the word for, uh, tonight that God was speaking to us was contagious and, and I know tonight's title is repentance, but I, I heard the word contagious. And what we, That's want all this good. Vid, what we want this video to produce is something so contagious that mm. you want right where you're at. I'm not talking about in an hour, or a half hour, or I'm not talking about in 10 minutes. Literally right now where you're at, you just stop. You recognize, wow, mm. what God is saying is going to radiate, illuminate my spirit and my soul. And mm. and tonight, what we're wanting to bring up, you know, God has already brought it up. If it was written, it's nothing new for you guys. Uh, but what we believe is his spirit brings a new fire or a new desire or, uh, you know, like, for instance, if, if you were out at a restaurant, right? I just got done with a restaurant. So, um, if you were at a restaurant, maybe you haven't been out since the, since uh, the whole pandemic happened, but now you go back to the restaurant and you're like, oh man, like I really appreciate food again. You know, we want that. We want it to be like that for you guys tonight. You know, if you, if you've, if you've read in the word before you've been reading in the word for, you know, 25 years, we want tonight to be something new and contagious and exciting and 
and, and just bring a new hunger and a new flavor to your walk with Christ. And that, and mm. I believe that's why uh, you're on right now watching this is because God wants to reunite all of the flavors and reignite all of the desire inside of you to worship him in spirit mm. and in truth. Amen. Amen. Yes, I uh, I definitely agree, and I think sometimes, you know, the the word the the, the word that kind of comes to mind when you spoke that is is like sometimes we just take it for granted, you know, we just take him for granted, we take the creator for granted, and it's 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 amazing how we do it, but somehow we do it. I <laughs> I don't understand it. I I've been there. I don't know how we get there, but it's crazy. Like the creator and we take him for granted and it's like you know of all the things that we hear all the noise all the distraction of everything that we choose to listen to and let it take root in our life we choose not to hear the voice of god and that just it, like it's just you know why so loud you know why like i I don't want to get too fast into this but i but i just want to touch on on tonight's mm -hmm. message Mm -hmm. um, repentance, you know, the first thing I want to say is that everything starts out in your thoughts. Yeah. Then it goes to your habits. Then it goes to your actions and then exactly. it becomes a part of your purpose or your, or your, um, the reason why you're doing life, you know, right. and then it goes to your destiny. And what we believe is God's purpose and his destiny is for you to have good thoughts and good actions, pure thoughts, pure right. actions. And, um, and, and just in, in saying that when God says that he is everlasting, mm. what I get from that word is that this life that he has given us is for the right now. And it's right. for the next, it's for the next 10 minutes. It's for the next yeah. hour. It's for the next day. It's for the next week. It's for the next mm. month and goes on right. and on and on. And, and, and all of that leads to this next point is that yep. God's repentance that he desires is, is a change of thought and a change of action, not just right now, but in the next 10 minutes in the next hour, in the next day, in the next week, in the next month, forever. His repentance is mm. everlasting. And, and, and when God came to the woman at the well, look at what's behind me, right? There's a well. There's a, there's a fountain, right? Fountain. He is yep. in the similar place. He walks up to this woman and he said, hey, hey, can I have a drink of water? And she's like, honestly, like, we can't talk because – like there's people around here and they might think that, you know, we're together and you worship over, over there at that yep. place. And I worship over yep. here. Yeah. And, and no, I don't, you know, and, and what Jesus says is, Hey, you repent for your sin is no more. Like once right. he, once he had shared the life that in the pro the prophetic word that God had given him, for that woman then he said repent and sin no more what was he saying he was saying that you just had an encounter with god now it's time that you have a change of mind don't think about all the men that you've been with don't think about yeah. you and i've not being able to get along what people would think but it's time that we all will worship together and we will all mm -hmm. be united as, as that's what god is calling us to uh, you know god created us in his image why would he not bring us all in one together? Mm. You know, and, and yeah, and that's just something that I feel really strongly about um, hmm. to start out with is, is that repentance means a change of mind that it's not, it's not all oh, you have to hang out over there and I need to hang out over here. It's that we were all created. Um, we brought in this world naked. We'll leave this world naked. So we need to all get along and, and be in unity together. You know, I saw, um, I've seen this before and I'll share it real quick to go along with that is I, in a lot of ways, our spiritual walk or our true identity of walking with the Lord, like you were talking about with changing the way you think, which is repentance. Um, if I could kind of dumb it down, so to speak, like you were saying, it's the mind and the heart and then the action. And if I could kind of use something that we all do, which is eating. 
So sometimes like we'll have a craving and sometimes that craving comes into our mind. It's like, oh man, the chocolate cake, dude, I want that chocolate cake, but it's so bad for me. I can't have that chocolate cake because I'll eat the whole thing, but that it keeps going here. And what happens is if we dismiss it and say, no, nah, I'm good. You know, I got to keep working out and I'm, I'm going to eat my kiwi or whatever and I'm good. We can answer that way or we can we can keep thinking on that cake. And we're like, man, that cake, mm-hmm. though. Uh, mm-hmm. But not right now. Not right now. But you're still thinking about it. You're dwelling on it. And what happens is the more you dwell on that thought that came here, you didn't hold it captive. You didn't you didn't take a hold of it and say, nope, I don't want that. But you let it dwell there. So what happens? It marinates and it sits there. And then throughout the day, you're mm-hmm. thinking about this chocolate cake. And all of a sudden, whether it's later that day, later the next few days, it drops into your heart. And now once it gets to your heart, (laughs) once that cake gets to your heart, Jesus, there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to not do it or you're going to do it. And then once it gets into your I don't want to interrupt you, Tony. Like, I really don't. But I I feel like what you're saying is 100% from the Holy Spirit. I just want to affirm you in that. Like what, what you are saying, it is ministering. And if you're being ministered to right now, I just want to encourage you to close your eyes. Whatever Jesus. it takes for you to get in the spirit, pray in the Holy Spirit, whatever it takes for you to hear from God right now, this is the time. And so, Pastor Tony, I want to, I want to encourage you to keep going on this. But for you that are watching, this is really important for you to hear. Jesus. Amen. And and a side note, Jesus says, let those who have ears, let them hear. So Tim said, hey, open up your ears. So if you don't know how to do that, just say right now, Lord, open up my ears. I want to hear what you're saying. Jesus. And here's what he's saying. He's saying, just like Tim started, it's a it's a thought. Then it's a then it carries into the heart and then you act it out. So using food as an example and using the cake, the chocolate cake, the once that thought comes in, I can keep dwelling on that chocolate cake all day in the next couple of days. But what happens is the more I dwell on it, the more I'm desiring it because it's literally having it's 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 life. It's literally taking over because you didn't stop it there. I could have chose to say. I was like, what? Chocolate cake, man. I used to eat that all the time, but nah, I'm staying away from that. I got to go get my kiwi, going to get my little shake on. All right, let's go work out. Boom, it's done. Like, because you're done. You already, you basically combated it with the truth of this is what I'm doing now. You see what I'm saying? So when you don't do that, guys, what happens is that cake is on your mind all day. That cake is on your mm-hmm. mind for the next couple of days, the next week. And what happens, the longer it stays there, it literally drops down into your heart. Now it's such mm-hmm. a strong desire now. Now it's very, very, see, when it's in the mm-hmm. mind, you can beat it quicker in the mind. That's why, what's the scripture, Tim? Take captive every thought that goes against the Lord. So using, and, and again, throw this, off, throw off every way that so easily easily yes so think about that so just keep you thinking of the spiritual and changing the way we think but think of it in, in the term of food that's why we're speaking on this like he said the holy spirit is speaking so when when we don't do that jesus when we don't do that it drops into our heart it has now become a desire now there's a 50 50 chance man that's a strong desire that is now on my heart wow I think I really want, wow. I'm going to have that cake. You see? So what happens now, now you're now, there's that place where people struggle. Mm-hmm. And now it's that 50, 50 struggle. And you're like, no, I can't go there, man. Cause last time I did that, then it went to this, this, and, oh man, oh man. And, and it's just this real struggle. It, it's just like, wow, flesh and mm-hmm. spirit, flesh and spirit or that desire. And here's what happens. Once it drops into your heart and it doesn't get checked there um, and you don't combat that, then it yeah. will fall down to your feet and you will act it out. So it's like I always say, now let's get off of food for a minute. Now you'll eat that cake and whatever. All right, I'm going to get off of that. But let's let's take something uh, um, even bigger like um, uh, cheating on your wife or cheating on your spouse. Nobody wakes up that morning and says, you know what? Today is a good idea. I'm going to cheat on my wife today. You don't. Nobody wakes up that way. It's a process. There was a thought that came in. Wow, that girl looks good. 
then that girl looks good or that guy looks good is in your brain and you're not battling that. You let it sit there and you actually dwell on it and you're like, oh, wow, man, yeah. And not, it lasts a week. Now it's dropping into your heart. You're actually desiring it now. You see what I'm saying? And then no, at some yeah. point, it could, it could be six months down the line and now you finally cheated, but the, at, the action is showing what you did. But what did God say? When you lust after that, you've already sinned. So, cause it already started because of that desire it dropped into your heart. Mm -hmm. So let's expound on that, obviously on the spiritual side and on the mindset side and all that. But I just kind of want to give us like a, a parable or a modern day example of that to kind of get a visual, a good visual for us to see it. Well, in a lot of us, what we do, hey buddy, a lot of us, what we do is, is we share about repentance in the new Testament and we like just kind of discredit the old about the action. Uh, yeah. Because we've heard so many people say, oh, it's a change of action. You got to change your way, brother, you know, and so on and so forth. But but what's true is this, just like for an, another example, with your headphones, right? Yep. These Bluetooth headphones, when you turn the phone on or you got a, a you know, auxiliary, uh, you know, connection or a Bluetooth connection at your, let's say more Bluetooth <laughs> connection at your home. It, once Jesus. you walk in the room, it connects right back to you. And so this is the word for the action. What we have to do is we have to say no. We have to disconnect. We have to say no. And, you know, we live in a culture right mm -hmm. now that is scared to say no. Why are we scared to say no? Because no is offensive. What? God did not say I've come into the world to have no more offense. He didn't come in like that. You know what he said? He said, mm. I come in the world not to condemn the world, but to save those who are lost. And you know who are lost are the people that can't say no. So I want to encourage you right now. If you've been in a home for the last two, three weeks and you've struggled, you've struggled, man, with your mind. You've struggled with your actions. You've struggled to walk this Christian faith out. I want to encourage you right now that it's not to late it's not too late the holy spirit's mm. talking to you right now it's not too <laughs> late it's never <laughs> too late the lord says you are not condemned but you are ready for an upgrade the lord says that you've walked in so much mm. condemnation and guilt and shame and he says you know I died for that. And I believe the Lord is going to bring us hmm. to a place where we literally can be tempted and walk away and take none of the shame, none of the guilt from the temptation and walk away from that temptation. Why? Because God's word is greater. And he says that you are perfect and you are righteous and you are with right standing with those who have called him their Lord. You know, that's so good. There's two. <laughs> yep. Holy Spirit speaking. There's two things there that really stood out real quick. I want to say, like you said, right standing righteousness. He calls us righteous. And some of us can't even say that word because we're like, we feel so filthy. But he calls us righteous, meaning you are in right standing with God Almighty. Mm. If you believe, mm. if you would just Jesus wow. take him at his word. If you would just wow. believe, go ahead. You, you saw if that? If you would believe. Yeah, I saw it. When Tony said, if you believe, that is so, that is so God. Like, if you believe, you know, Jesus didn't walk around and, and rebuke people for their sin. You know what he rebuked people for? Their unbelief. Believe. He was constantly saying, believe in me. And I in you, you know, believe that yes. that I am with the Father, yes. and the Father is with you, is Woo! with me, and I'm with you. And and it was like everybody logically wanted a man yes. on the scene, and Jesus is like, I'm not man, I'm man, and I'm withholding the Holy Spirit, and and that's what oh. God has given us as the teacher. Yes. Yeah, that is the true answer to repentance is Holy Spirit. It, it's it's yes. Holy Spirit indwelling, speaking to us. In this case, 
do this. In this case, go here or do that yeah. or say this. And it says faith comes by mm -hmm. hearing and hearing the word of God. So even our faith can arise as we say no to sin and yes to him. Dude. And that's the thing, dude. It's so good because and, and <laughs> we're, getting the we're getting to the juicy part, but I'm going to backtrack before we get to more juiciness. But, bro, <laughs> I know I had to say it. Woo! 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 Hey, when we get squeezed, let Jesus come out, man. Let that Woo! juicy goodness come out. Bro, so earlier you were talking about some of us need an upgrade and you were talking about the headphones. Well, that's what it is. He's saying, can we cut the cord of the wired connection and go oh, wireless? Wow, I do heard not you say, listen to the voice of the stranger. Yeah, man. Dude, let's cut the oh. cord of our old past. Bro, come on. Oh. He says, he's like, man, I got a new connection. And this new connection is through Holy Spirit, through Bluetooth headphones. And you're always connected. And guess what? God's wireless is everlasting. God's wireless is omnipotent. God's wireless wow. is ever reaching. God's wireless always reaches us. <laughs> Woo! That's what I saw wow. when you were talking about that and upgrade. And I'm like, whoa, Lord, wow. this is amazing. So guys, wow. get that visual. You know how much you struggle. You're trying to work out when you got those wired headphones and they kind of get caught up on the, the weights and you're lifting. You're like, oh man, these darn cords. He's saying the same thing about your old man, about wow. your old life, about your old self. He's saying it's done. It is finished. Mm. I have cut the cord and you are mm. now in me and I'm in you and you and mm. I could reign forever completely free, wireless, mm. free, wireless, free, wireless, free. Jesus, wow. whom the son sets wow. free is free indeed. Yeah, and you know, the word that God just put in my spirit is the determination has to end, the determination for you to get it right. He says he's eliminating determination from your self-righteousness, and he is igniting affirmation, and he is an affirming God. And, and, and we live in a world where people need affirmation more than ever. Yeah. And you know what? You don't have to be the one that is saving the lost. Jesus is the one that's saving the lost. He's the one that's affirming the lost. But you, first of all, you have to hear and know that you are righteous before you ever try to yeah. reach the lost. And I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, wait till you, you know, don't, I'm not saying wait. I'm just saying when, yes. when you hear when you know, when you, when you find that love that surpasses all understanding and when you find that hope that surpasses all of your past, I want to tell you that that's when you can go out and you can share Jesus Christ. But you have been assigned this purpose to know God, to make him known, to be affirmed by him, to know that he died and loved you before you ever tried to love your neighbor or your spouse or, or your, your family or like any yeah. of that, or even the location you're at, he died huh. and gave you a life that's never ending. So when you grasp that understanding, if you want to have any understanding at all, know who he is inside of you, know what he's done for you, know the character that he it has produced not just inside of you, but for the entire world. And when you get that, you can go out in that confidence. You know, I'm not listening to stranger's voice anymore. I'm not walking in the way of selfishness. Everything becomes about what? Not pleasing him, but obeying him. Because a lot of us, we've tried to please God and we've used our own purpose. We've said, God, I'm going to eliminate my purpose. And now my purpose is to reach the lost. We've, we've eliminated everything and we tried to take what we were doing in our last mission and put it on God. Now I'm doing it for God instead, but God's saying, no, I'm giving you a new mission. I'm giving you a new voice. I'm giving you a new upgrade. And this upgrade is to know God and to know he is living and breathing and having his way. And your repentance will become what? 
It will become easy. His yoke. What? It's easy. His teaching is easy. Forgive. And you will be forgiven. And then what? His burden is light. Those burdens will start falling off the more that you say no to the, to the sin that so easily entangles you. Entangles, you will start yeah. walking in the light and you start walking on water again, baby. That's it, dude, right there on that water behind you. And, you know, there's a couple things. One, uh, Silas is in the background. I have him here. I can add him on at any point. I just told him to make sure he has a good connection. Um, so um, maybe I'll, I'll, uh, if, if you're good with it, I'll bring him on real quick um, here in a minute. Yeah, I might but, even – I might have a, you know, uh, my phone die in a minute too. So if he comes on and I'm off, that's cool. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. I told him it'll be a few anyways. I told him we'll get them on when we can. But uh, uh, anyways, bro, so I just see him in the studio hanging out. So I'm just waiting. I just got to click it. But I told him just to hold on. <laughs> I told him make sure you have a good connection. Hey, you know, here's the thing, bro. Like you, you said so much there. There was so much scripture. There was so much life. There was so much truth. It was all Jesus. It's all Holy Spirit. And mm-hmm. Sometimes, and this is what I want to talk about too. Um, okay, yeah, he said he's not going to be able to make it, so we're good. No problem. He's got no service, so I, I just had a feeling, but it's all good. So we're good. God have the t- God take the wheel. So what I saw when you said all that was, you know, we talked about believing, right? And you said about pleasing God, and and in Scripture, I believe it's Hebrews eleven six. It says that it's impossible to please God without faith. God gave us all a measure of faith. Then we take that measure of faith and we say, I believe in him. I believe in Jesus. I believe in what he did. And and that's all Tim and I are are saying. And we're going to talk about this as the gospel right now, because maybe some of us haven't heard the true gospel. Maybe we only heard, raise your hand, you go to heaven. That's not the gospel. The gospel is encompasses everything that we're talking about today. And maybe that's the missing part. Maybe since we haven't gotten the true gospel, the full gospel, maybe that's why we're not changing the way we think. Jesus, maybe that's why we're not repenting and changing the way we think because we haven't heard the full gospel. We've heard who doesn't want to go to hell and wants to go to heaven and have a punch in a ticket to go. And that's what you heard. Well, I don't want to go there, so I want to go here. Or I want the benefits of of blessings. And I want, it's not about any of that. Yes, those mm-hmm. there's parts of that that are in it. But let's, let's talk about the true gospel. Let's talk about mm-hmm. the true good news of Jesus. And we've already touched wow. on a lot of it. But I just want us to kind of speak on this because I, mm-hmm. I, think, I think I know for me, I'm just going to speak personally for me. I'm 45 years old now, and most of the time what I heard of the gospel was super watered down. It was that analogy that I just gave, golden ticket. I want to go there. I don't want to burn there. Dude, once I found Jesus, the true Jesus, and I had my experience in 2015 of December, I'll never be the same. I I, I know what the disciples meant when they said, Lord, where are we going to go? You have the words Mm -hmm. of life. Like That's where I am at. And And I know everybody else that's listening. That's what I want. That's what I want. Well, we're going to give it to you right now because we're going to give you Jesus, the true gospel, the full gospel, the whole truth and nothing but the truth because the truth is Jesus. And I know Tim's got something, so I'm going to let him go. Brother, mm, the gospel, the full gospel, Jesus. You know, God God was on a mission from the very beginning to show his love to us. And so what he did is he created us in his image. And yeah, we messed it up. You know, yeah, yeah, we forgot who we were. But God says, you know what? It's time that I send myself down to you. Mm, Jesus, thank you. It's time that I come to you in person. It's time that I come to you where you're at and show how forgiving and how loving I am. When he sent his son, Mm. he not only sent a man, but he sent himself to die for you so that you would understand that no matter what you've done, there's no turning back. There's only forward. (laughs) And the heaven that God has promised us is eternal life in a state of forgiveness, in a state of love, in a state 
of not just thoughts but action and, and he gave his life so that we could understand <laughs> yeah because we've been trying to understand since the garden and, and that's what got us in trouble as humanity is we wanted to understand more than we wanted to receive and the lord says that it's time for you to receive again because he's bringing a new wave and this wave is the full gospel the full gospel that mm. his love goes beyond your sin it goes beyond your mistakes it goes beyond your past it goes beyond your 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 failure to understand him and yeah. it goes right to your heart and it says you don't have to do anything to please god all we're all he's asking all we're talking about tonight is just receive receive it was that easy like how could we how could we not get this from the very beginning how could we not get it all we have to do is receive it, it you know as some people say some people say this they say this sounds too good to be true well guess what for everything else in the world you can say that but in this instance it's not too good to be true it <laughs> is truth the truth that will set you free is that your yeah. your position is to be a receiver of a Holy Spirit and walk in that Holy Spirit. And you will start talking in that Holy Spirit. You will start seeing miracles in signs and wonders wherever you're at. Because guess what? You're not walking in yourself, but you're walking in the promise that God had for you from the very beginning of time. Yeah. And, you know, I'll, I'll tie in something that, you know, I know most people have heard the story, but in case there's somebody that, that really hasn't, Adam and Eve, when they sinned and ate of the knowledge of good and evil, they ran from God because they felt naked. They felt guilt, shame, condemnation entered right away. And Jesus, and I'm, I'm sensing that's what some people feel. They're feeling the guilt, the shame, the condemnation. But right away, God told them, well, who told you you were naked? Who told you? Because they ate of the knowledge of good and evil. And we keep eating of that fruit every single day. And that is our old man. And he's saying, who told you about that here? Mm -hmm. And and he said, take off those leaves. He took off their leaves because every time they would look down at their leaves that they put on, they're trying to make themselves clean. But every time they looked at their uh, upon themselves and they saw the leaves, they were going to see, man, we messed up. Guilt, mm. shame, condemnation. But God said, no, I will clothe you. Foreshadowing, clothing us in righteousness. He said, I will clothe Adam and Eve. So that every time Adam and Eve looked upon themselves, they saw they were clothed by God. And it was Jesus. It was a reminder. Wow. Mm. I, even though we messed up, he's extending love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness. He clothed me. It's a foreshadow of us today. And all we need to do, like Tim said, thank you, mm -hmm. Lord, is receive simply by mm -hmm. believing. Mm -hmm. Simply by believing. Just mm -hmm. believing, you know what, Lord? I want you. You know what, Lord? You did do this for me. I can, I feel it. There's something inside of me. That is the spirit of God. The only way you can be living is because the spirit of God is inside of you. That's the only way you're living. Even if you've been running from God your whole life, the spirit of God is within you. And as soon as you hear the words of life, there's something inside you that's just like umping out and it's just like oh my gosh i remember that i remember that i remember that i remember that and you know it and that's that feeling and you're like when you get to that place surrender let it go and say i believe i believe lord i want to take you at your word teach me i want to hear what you have to say tell me who i am and that is the gospel and the gospel goes on to say that that we would you know we use that term born again to be born again well think about it guys what are you born again from? What are we born again from? We're born mm. again from not being the old man, our old way of thinking, our old life, our old everything, our old way of habits and sin and old desires, old everything. Out with the old, in with the new. When you are born again, you're saying, you know what? I'm done, Lord. I want to die to myself. That's what he says. He says, if you would die, you would gain it in him. But if you want to keep it, you're going to lose it. 
So, so what we're tra- telling you with the gospel, and Tim's going to go here in just a minute and, and expound on this, is, is that if we would truly die to ourselves and lay it at the feet of Jesus and say, Lord, I do not have it figured out. I've been doing it my way, not Yahweh. I've been doing it my way, not Yahweh. And I want to I want to change that. Maybe some of you have been Christians for most of your life. There might be you might be in that boat where you're you've been a Christian for a long, long time or you've had this understanding, but you still hold held on to your old mindset, your old way of thinking, your old way of life. He wants us to die to that. So today is the invite. Will you die to yourself today? Mm -hmm. Will you die to yourself today? Because I guarantee you, when you die to yourself today, you live in him forever. And he comes Mm. into you like that that fountain back there, just gushing. That Holy Spirit is in you and it'll just keep gushing Mm. and gushing and gushing. And you literally, that is what repentance is, is turning back to God and saying, Lord, change the way I'm thinking. Because right now I'm thinking for myself and I'm thinking the old way. I want to think your way. I want to put on the mind of Christ. Mm. Yeah. Just as an example, you know, scripture is very clear about, you know, in the last days, you, you have a choice between the creator and the creation. And, 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 you know, it grieves my heart to say that the majority of the world is worshiping creation one way or another. Yeah. No, it's not. not what I would like to say you know it is what it is 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 what I would say as my own human uh, response but but God says that there are a remnant of those who will jump in you know who will walk in the Holy Spirit and and, you know as we've been referencing this water behind us and you know it says rivers of living water will come out of you and and there's all these this good talk but but the truth is you know, there is that there is that group of people. You have the group of people in the water and then you have the group of people, you know, right here on this grass right here. You know, and then you got people uh, that have one foot in the water and one foot in the grass. And God says, you know, honestly, like you either need to jump in or you need to stay on the grass. And, 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 and it's like if you can see behind me, there's a sign here and I have no idea what it says, but I feel like if God wrote anything on that sign would be either jump in or stay on the grass. And, and why he's saying that he's saying, because you're not getting the fullness, you know, you're not getting the fullness of, of the earth or you're not getting the fullness of the Holy spirit. And, and, and so what he's saying is, you know, you have a choice to walk in his love mm-hmm. or to not walk in his love. And, and a lot of us, we, we, we get frustrated and we get, we get frustrated and we think we're out of his love. And I want to tell you, God has a righteous anger for those who are not walking with him. But what he can do inside of you is eliminate us from that wrath thinking or that wrath mindset and bring us to just the frustration. Nobody thinks of frustration as the God's grace is bringing us only to frustration. We always think of, I'm going to go to frustration and what's going to happen next. I'm going to go to anger and then I'm going to go to anger. Am I going to go to hate? And I'm not going to, you know, and God say, no, 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 because of my grace, I've brought you to a place where you're only frustrated at those who have one foot in one foot out. And that's what God does is we say, well, God, I don't have compassion for them. And God says, hey, guess what? It's okay because I'm full of compassion. Why? Because he knew that we would go this way how i don't know i don't know why he knew i don't know why this happened to us that we went one foot in one foot out but god's saying that this is a time for america to wake up and realize that it's time that we jump in or we stay with creation and i want to tell you if you stay with creation what you're going to get is the creation but if you go with god i want to tell you that the rivers of living water the promises of God, which is heaven, the promises of forgiveness, the promises of life and kindness and joy and peace and all the fruit of the spirit, it will follow you and you will walk in that blessing. And that's what we are here to share with you about. We don't want to talk about the other too much because it's been talked about so much, but 
we do believe that there is another side. If you do choose that side to walk away from his love, there, there is a place reserved for you if you do not choose his love. But no, he has given us the opportunity to share with you guys that there is life beyond today. And that is why we are sharing the good news is that he laid down his life so that we could be completely 100% clean in his eyes and in the father's eyes. And, you know, that's what it is. I mean, exactly what you said. He said, I don't want you to be lukewarm because I'll spit you out. So you either in or you're not. And that's that's just it. And here here's the truth of the matter. I think we look at it so much as a judgment and like like you said, hell in the other place or whatever. But here's the thing. He says he sent his son for the whole world. He sent his son for the whole world so that nobody would perish, because think about it. Again, the spirit of God is in every single person. That's why you're alive right now. So that's how you know it's for every mm. single person because you wouldn't be alive. <laughs> mm. So check this out. God cannot go against himself. So when you reject the creator, Jesus, when you reject the creator, you reject your existence. And that's why you end up in the other place. That's it. It's not because yeah, and, and- it. No, and, and, and the Lord just reminded me that, you know, some of us don't understand what worshiping the creation looks like. And you know what that is? It's yeah. worshiping what is seen versus the unseen. Yes. And, and that we can honor and we can adore and we can uh, appreciate what he's given us, this world and the things that's in it, like the, the plants and the trees and the, and the animals and all these things. But the moment that we take our eyes off him, is we start worshiping the seen instead of the unseen. And I believe it could be as simple as that for you tonight. In Jesus' name, those of you who are walking in the scene, I say no more. I say no more in Jesus' name. And I say yes to the unseen in Jesus' name. I say yes. Say that with me. If you need that right now, say yes. Say it out loud so that you and your spirit can hear it. I say yes to you, God. I say yes to you, God. I say yes to you, God. And I say no. I say no to the scene. I say no to the to the trends. I say no to the way of the world. And I say yes to the narrow way. God, set me free. Set me on fire with the Holy Ghost. Set me anew. God, make me new in your eyes. I will walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. I will walk by faith and not by yeah. sight, Jesus. I will wow. walk by faith and not by sight. I will walk by faith and not by sight, for it is impossible to please God without faith. And he gave us all the measure of faith. So if he did wow. it for us, let us walk by faith and not by mm. sight. Thank mm. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Hmm. So good. So good. Wow. So, you know, Tony, yeah. I am extremely wrecked with the love of God right now. And yeah. And uh, for all of you who are watching, like, I personally feel like I've said everything that I could say tonight. And, and God is calling me uh, to him right now to pray for those of you who, who really need prayer. And so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go away from the video and I'm going to pray for you in the spirit. And I'm going to go on a walk and, and just seek God's face. And I, but I personally want to say thank you for coming on. And I want to say, you know, I encourage you to do the same thing is, is whatever it takes for you, you know, to see the goodness of God right now. I want to encourage you to do that. Yeah. Spend time, spend time with him man. that's, you know, sometimes people will say to Tim and I, and you know, and some of our friends, they'll say, well, how, how are you guys like this? How did you get, what kind of experience did you guys have with God? And, and our answer has always been, we're seeking him. That's that <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's as simple as that. We're just seeking him. And I'm not saying that we have it all figured out, but we keep going to the one that does have it figured out. So just seek him. That's it. We, 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 we just want you to seek him. That's all. And that we're just equipping you and encouraging you to seek him. 
Seek him, seek him, seek him. He said, if you would seek, you will find. So go Ooh. find Jesus because he's there. Wow. <laughs> he, he's there. Tim, I know you got to go on your walk. I'm going to hang out for a few more minutes. But, dude, it was an honor. And uh, go walk in the cool hey. evening with the Lord. <laughs> That's all. Hey, uh, seriously though, mercy for you, you know, mercy, Yes. mercy, mercy. mercy. Yeah. Mercy. mercy, mercy guys. Yes. Love, yes. love and forgiveness for you tonight. Okay. Thanks Tony. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Thanks. All right, later. Dang. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. So guys, you already heard, I'm not going to go much longer. Um, but honestly, sometimes we just need uh, that reminder of the goodness of God and what he's done. He said that we love because he first loved us. Some of us need to just hear that we're loved by God. And he does. He loves us so much. He loves us that that's why we're even breathing right now. You only have life because he gave you life. Believe that because it's the truth. Now, what are we going to do with this life that he's given us? Are we going to live it for other people and other things in this world? Or are we going to live it for him? Are we going to lay down our life, take up our cross and follow Jesus? Or are we just going to follow the world and follow our own ambitions and our own desires and our own everything? Our way or Yahweh? That's it. That's that's the choice. And the the gospel is that when you just receive in your heart, you believe and you say, Lord, I just want you and I want to live like you. I want to live by your example. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you died for me so I can live. And now I want to live. I want to live with you. And that's it. And then go get baptized so that you would have that physical reminder of what it means to die. It's like you're going under the water. It's dying to yourself. That's your reminder. I'm dying to myself now. And when I rise up, I'm rising out of the grave, a new creation. And God is in me. And just like Jesus rose in three days, you rise up. That symbolizes you rising up from the water, a new man, a new creation. And, um, and, 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 and God will begin to change the way you think as you surrender the way you think. And, uh, it, it trust me, I thought the same way for so, so, so long. Um, and I know a lot of you have as well. And um, I remember what God told me in December of 2015. And he said, blank, Tony, blank canvas your mind and let me teach you. That's what he said. And I believe, um, obviously, I took it personal and I, and I asked him, you know, everything. He said everything. And um, but I'm going to remind you because the Lord wasn't just giving that for me, just for me to hang on to it. But it's for everybody. He's saying it to all his children. He's, he's saying, will my children blank canvas their old mind, the mind that grew up in the city, in the country, grew up wherever it grew up, was raised by whoever you were raised by, um, whether it was on the streets, whether it was on a good house, a bad house, whatever. Would we take a moment and blank canvas our mind, no longer hold the resentment of, yeah, well, that's just the way I was, I, I was born. That's just the way I was raised. Well, that's just the way. Was it just the way or was it just circumstance? Was it just what you went through? You know, was it just life at that time being separated from God? You know, was it just that's just how it was? And it, maybe it was a godly home. Maybe it wasn't. But what I'm getting at is, would we take a moment to say, you know what? I don't know anything. And whatever I do know, Lord, I want a blank canvas. I want a clean slate. I just want to I just want to start thinking like you. And, and, and I encourage you to try to do that. Do it. Not try, but do. Yoda used to say that in Return of the Jedi. Do or do not. There is no try. That's my best Yoda voice. Do or do not. There is no try. And I, that, that always stuck with me because it's true. You either do or you do not. There is no try. 
I used to hear a lot of pastors say, oh, yeah, try Jesus. Yeah, try Jesus. Yeah, give him a try. It's like you don't try Jesus. You come to him and you say, I believe. And even if you don't, you said, Lord, help me with my unbelief because I want to believe, but I have this unbelief. That's okay. But don't just give him a try. Do by giving yourself, you know, surrender. Don't, don't come with clenched fists. Just surrender. Just let go. Let go of a life that was never yours in the first place. Let go of a life that was never yours in the first place. The only way we're breathing is because God is inside of us. He is the breath of life. And that's why we're breathing. And we should be giving him glory and honor for that. We should be in awe of that. And, and he loves us so much. So much love, so much grace, so much mercy, so much forgiveness. So let us receive all of that love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness. And now let us extend that love, grace, grace mercy, and forgiveness to others. Because freely we receive, freely we give. Amen. And, and let's just blank canvas our mind. Let's let the Holy Spirit teach us. And, and for some of us, it may be hard because there's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of ways that is ingrained in us. Like, you don't understand. This is me. This has been me for 20, 30, 40 years. But this is Jesus. And he is the way. So if you would lay down your way and pick up his way, I guarantee you, you will find him. You will find peace. You will find rest. You will find love. You will find mercy, grace, forgiveness. You will not find anxiety, worry, concern. You won't find any of that fear. You won't find any of that stuff. That stuff will all dissipate as you come to the Father. So... That's the reminder. That's the gospel. That's the good news. And let's change the way you think. And earlier we had heard that word about the, the headphones. Let's cut the cord. Let's cut the cord of our old man, our old way of thinking, our old past. We can, he cut it already, but some of us are holding on to our past. Some of us are holding on to the way we think, the old way we think. Some of us are holding on to that mindset. And we need to be out of our mind and into his because he says put on the mind of christ and romans 12 2 says do not be conformed to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind you know what the renewing of your mind is out of your mind and into his getting into his word talking to him and he starts telling you hey thank you for coming with a blank canvas let me teach you let me teach you let me teach you so i'm done love you guys god bless you guys thanks for jumping on and uh, we'll do it again next week. And um, I think on Thursdays, I said I'll, I'll be sharing the previous year's message. So because, um, yeah, every Thursday, it's like the anniversary of that message. So we'll share those on True Church. I'll just post the link to YouTube so you guys can see that. Every Thursday, you'll get last year's message. And obviously, every Tuesday, we'll be going live. Yep. Good night. Love you too, Dad. And uh, God bless you guys. And I uh, can't wait to see you guys when that is. I guess that'll be in July for Kayla's graduation. But I uh, love you guys. You guys have a good night. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Let me go see what my wife is doing. Let me go join her. Love you. God bless.